We have some breaking news now at 430. We're getting an update from the scene of a bus crash in Monrovia, just south of the high school this afternoon. Fox 59's Eric Graves is at the site where that crash happened. And Eric, what can you tell us so far? Oh, Leah, Nick, it's been cleaned up, but there's still some pretty significant damage here that kind of shows you the power and the impact of this crash. I want to share with you first the good news. The sheriff here uh, in Morgan County tells us there are no serious injuries, really no minor injuries, if any. So everybody in that crash made it out safely. Right behind me here, I'm going to have you take a closer look. This is the tree the bus hit. We were talking to some witnesses. One who was uh, probably about 100 feet away was chopping up some wood and heard the bus hit. Said it was a, a boom. He figured a semi had fallen over about 100 yards up the hill. His kids say it shook the house they were in. Uh, the man came running over here, says the bus had just hit right into this tree uh, inside full of kids. It happened right after school let out. Uh, we don't know yet if it was coming from the school. This is just south of Monrovia High School and Middle School up there. That's where parents were being reunited uh, with their children that were on that bus. Uh, the witness told us that some of the kids were crying, but luckily most looked unharmed for what was a pretty powerful crash here. I want to show you something. This is a piece of well, I thought it was bark, but it's really about more than an inch thick of wood right here that shattered off this tree when it collided. The bark is all over the ground here. You can see some skid marks where the bus did, but I mean, it was obviously very powerful. Certainly a lucky thing that none of those kids uh, were hurt any more seriously. We are hoping to get some more information about this as we go on as to what led to the crash. We don't know exactly what led up to the bus seemingly swerving off the road into this tree, this large tree that is sitting right next to State Road 39 here. Nick and Aaliyah. All right, and as Eric mentioned, Fox 59 will continue to ask questions about what happened in Monrovia this afternoon. We'll update you both on air and online at fox59.com as soon as we learn anything new.